one of the perennial favorites of appetizers, snacks, snack appetizers, whatever you want to call it, are jalapeno poppers. There's a lot of ways to do them. Bacon wrapped is one of the most popular. I usually grill them up or smoke them up, but there is another way to do them that's a little more convenient, and a lot of people have these now. So today we're going to be making some air fryer jalapeno poppers. Now I've got my jalapenos here and I have a couple Fresno chilies. The Fresno chilies we're going to be cleaning up, chopping and adding to our cream cheese filling, but I want to start with the jalapenos first. Now we're going to be doing these in halves, so each jalapeno is going to give us two poppers. Now we have the stem end. We could slice that off or we could be bold and try and split it right down the stem end. I'm going to try and be bold here. So I'm going to try and go right through that stem. Not too bad. We'll clean that one up in a minute, but first let's get the rest of these cut. Might not work on all of them, but we'll give it a shot. They're all going to taste great. All right, pretty happy with that, but now I want to clean these out. And the way I like to do that, get a plate or a dish, get a spoon. I have different sized spoons, so if one larger one doesn't work, I can use a smaller one. And I just like to get in here and scrape these out. Now, if you want to leave seeds in, you're welcome to, but you're going to have to clean out some of this space in here to make room for our filling, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of these up, and then we'll move on to the filling. So for our Fresno chilies here, we are just going to break these down. So I want to cut them in half first. Get rid of the stems. Split them down the middle. Clean them up just like we did the jalapenos. And again, if you want to leave some of the seeds in here to make that filling a little bit hotter, you can. I'm going to take my chilies and Give them a little bit of a julienne here. Got our little matchsticks here. We're just gonna dice these up a bit. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and mix up our filling. So our filling starting with 16 ounces of cream cheese. Now this has been sitting out at room temperature for about half an hour to soften up makes it a little easier to mix. We're going to get our diced up Fresno chili in here. I'm also going to add a couple teaspoons of honey just to bring a little bit of sweetness to the inside when we bite into those poppers. And we're just going to start mixing this. It's going to take a while, even with softened cream cheese. It's pretty stiff, but just work at it. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's get our jalapenos out here and fill them. So here is one of our jalapeno halves. Just gonna fill it with our cream cheese filling and then we're gonna wrap it with a piece of bacon. Many ways to do this with spoons. If you've got it really, really soft filling, you can just use sort of a piping bag or a Ziploc bag with the corner cut off. And how much you fill it is really up to you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start down here at the nose end, <laughs> and we're just going to work our way around. Try and get full coverage, but if we don't, we can always use more bacon or just accept it as it is. And to me, that looks pretty good. Let's do another one. Spoon it in, spread it around. I know some people like to put cheddar cheese and things like that in here. That's fine. If that's what you like, fill it with whatever you want. Oop, stem broke off, minor tragedy. Starting down here at the nose. And bacon will stretch a little bit, so you can pull on it to get a little bit more out of it there. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these filled, and then we're gonna add a little bit of a seasoning on the outside. All right, so here are our 12 poppers. Now, once I season these, these are actually gonna go in the refrigerator for a couple hours. I like to do that to just let them sort of firm up before you then go ahead and bake them or air fry them like we're doing today. And the seasoning I'm using today is West Coast Shake from Cooking with CJ. So we're just gonna give these a nice dusting on top here. A little bit of extra flavor. 
and this rub is fantastic. If you haven't tried it, you should grab yourself some. I'll put a link in the video description so you can check it out. All right, these are going in the refrigerator and I'll see you back here in a few hours when we air fry these up. All right, I have my air fryer over here and we're gonna go ahead and get it preheating. We're gonna set our temp at 370. We're gonna set our time for 10 minutes. We're gonna let that preheat. All right, we're preheated, let's get our poppers in. I'm probably gonna to have to do two batches. We don't need to spray any oil in here because the bacon will give off its own lubrication. I'll bring you back as soon as it's time to check these at 10 minutes. Oh, those are looking good. Now you have to take these to how you like your bacon done. I like mine, if you've watched my videos, you know, AFS, acceptable floppy state. Although in this, I do like it a little bit more. And in fact, I'm gonna let these go about two more minutes. Those are looking exactly like I want them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these out. I'm gonna fry up the other batch and then we're gonna have a taste. All right, I've plated up some of our poppers here. It's just time to take a taste. Cheers. That is a fantastic popper. Completely easy. Personally, I love more smoke flavor, so that's why I like doing them out on the grill. But if you don't have the time for that, or you may not have a smoker or grill, this is an absolutely perfect alternative. Mm. 